What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here. So excited to be back with my new channel, New Beginnings. Uh, I appreciate your support. And uh, just want to remind you to uh, please subscribe to this channel, leave comments, and uh, just know that this is where I'm going to be from here on out. And I can't wait to be doing all these lessons for you. Uh, this is a great one uh, that uses all our basic open chords. And it's a beautiful song. And if you know this song, there's a lot of other songs you know as well. So we're going to zoom in and I'm going to break it down for you. And uh, just know that I appreciate your support and uh, can't wait to see you a bunch more times and a bunch more videos. So let's zoom in and break it down. Here we go. All right. So this song starts with a C chord, which would have the ring finger on the third fret of the A, second fret of the D there with the middle finger and then index on the first fret of the B string. So we have that. That's our C chord. Then we go to a G chord and we're gonna target our middle finger on the third fret of the low E right here. And then second fret of the A with our index finger. And then third fret on the high E. So we have C to G like so. So the next two chords, and we'll work on a rhythm in a second here, the next two chords are A minor, which is the starts on the open A string right here. And then it's 2nd fret on the D, 2nd fret on the G, 1st on the B, and you can play that high E too. Then we go to an F chord, and the F chord can be played a few different ways, and in the intro I did play it a few different ways. Um, the most simple way is with the ring finger on the 3rd of the D, so 3rd, 2nd on the G and then index on the first of the B. And what I do is I let my index finger just lightly mute that high E, so I'm not pressing it down like that. So without it being muted, with it being muted, I'm just kind of letting it r touch the high E string. So we have C, 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 G, 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 A minor, then the F chord. Then um, those are all the chords we pretty much need. And then speaking C to G. So after it repeats, there's no A minor. It's just F, F to C. And there's a little walk down that I'm going to teach you in a second. So let's go through the chords all the way through. When I see C, C, and G, 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 A minor to F, C to G, F, F to C. Repeats that. C, 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 to G, 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 A minor to F, C. F to C. All right. Um, now, strumming wise, down, 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 up. So, what you can do is you can get, you can do, think of it as down, 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 up. Down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up.
So that's the main part of the song, but then there's also what we'll call the chorus of the song. And it goes like this. Let it a minor than G. So it's all the same chords, no new chords to learn, but it, the chorus starts on A minor. Let it A minor to G. Let it F to the C. C again to G. F, F to C. Let it A minor to G. F to the C. C again and the G chord F F to C So then what we want to do is add this little walk down with the F chord and it sounds like this And so you're starting with the F chord and you strum that F and then you do it again F and then ring finger comes off middle finger moves up to the second fret of the D string. So F, F, middle finger moves up, and we want to make sure that we're hitting that D string. And you can strum the rest of the chord, but really aim for that D string. And the middle finger is on the second fret of that. So it's F, F, and then the middle finger on the second fret of the D. And you can see it's already in that shape, getting ready for C. We add our ring finger to the third fret of the A string, and we strum that C chord. So F, F, middle finger to the second fret of the D. And then ring finger comes down and we strum the C chord. So here it is all together. When I see to C, G, 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 A minor to F, C to G chord. Now the walk down, F, F, down, C. Okay, so I know it's a piano song, but it's fun to play piano songs on guitar. And then when we have the chorus, the A minor to the G, you can go, you can do a walk down just like we did on F, but from the C chord, you could go, let it be. So it goes right with the words. Ring finger is where it should be for the C chord, let. And then ring finger comes off, middle finger moves up to the second fret of the A. Second fret of the A, and then it comes off to A minor. And that's just a bonus thing. Oops, sorry, so F, F to the C, C to the G chord, then the walk down from F, walk down A minor to the G, yeah, F to the C, C to the G chord, F walk down, F, F. And then there's that really cool organ kind of uh, interlude, and you can do it on guitar. And so what happens is it starts with the F chord, F, then it immediately walks down with the middle finger to the second of the D, so... Then middle finger comes off and it's the open D. So. To C. So F down open C. Then this is the one weird thing that hasn't happened yet in the song. 
it's the first fret of the A string. And we're just going to play that note by itself. So that, then open A, which you could play an A minor, but it goes by so fast that it's just going to be, I think just that's the best way to do it. And then you saw I was playing G with different fingers, but I'll keep it the same. G, F, C. G. C. And I played the F bar chord, which some of you may know, and if you don't know it, just stick to the regular F that you know. So check it out again. And that will get you through the tune. All right, there was the lesson. I hope you got something from it. Uh, remember, this is my new channel, so please subscribe, uh, like the video, comment, all that stuff. I also got always have links uh, down below for you to check out. But I'm excited to be back, and I can't wait to see you in another video real soon. Take care.